There are a variety of differences between the Pendleton Buckaroo boys basketball team and the Helix Grizzly boys basketball team. The Pendleton boys games are always fast paced. They always know where their teammates are on the floor. And they don't just have one star player, they have five. This year, the Pendleton boys had an amazing season. In league, they're 12 and 0. Um, and they have a, a an amazing point. Deion Davis, he um, every time they get a fast break from the other team, they um, he always dunks the ball, and that's pretty much every game. And then um, there's Brian Beard. He's six ten. And he's really good about getting the ball in the hoop and um, scoring scoring really high for Pendleton. And um, and showing what it takes to win. And then um, whereas Helix and League they're one in thirteen, and um, they don't really have any tall guys except for Brendan DiCicio. And he's also really good about getting the ball on the hoop and um, scoring for Helix. And then there's um, a bunch of freshmen have stepped up, like Jason Bushman and um, Levi Papanaw. They're, they're really good about scoring for Helix and doing what needs to be done and um, working hard. And um, Dusty Bennett, he's really good about driving the ball to the hoop, and so is Zach Sundin. And Derek Clark is um, really good about his threes. Sometimes they fall, and most of the time, most of the time they fall, and sometimes they don't, but most of the time they do. And um, back to Pendleton, Darius Polymus, he's, he's also one of the points, and he drives the ball, too, and he always has a bunch of lands or, like, fast breaks and stuff like that. And um, then there's a, just, like, they're... The, their players, they're really good about being focused, and I think that's both teams are sometimes really good about being focused and doing what needs to be done to win and playing as a team. And sometimes they don't, and that might, and that's what causes them to lose. And I think that if they practice more as a team, and um, like just if they didn't get a bad attitude about the simplest stuff, then they would win, and um, then they would be, they'd be amazing, and um, there's a bunch of, like, other things, like, in Pendleton, they have a student section, and that's, like, their own section of bleachers, and it gets filled at every home Pendleton game for the boys, but, yeah, the boys, um, it gets filled, and they have these, like, there's students, they dress up in the randomest thing, like, one day, they have random day, and then the next they have cowboy day, and then they have like just colorful day. They have anything that I guess their ASB puts together, and it looks really cool. And um, then before the games, they all run in as a school together and in the student section and cheer really, really loud. And um, I think that's one thing that Helix should do. I mean, there's not a lot of people that don't play that, but I think that. Um, the teams, the girls, they cheer for the boys, and sometimes I think that the boys should step up and cheer for the girls, and maybe the girls, the girls would win more, and so would the, like the boys. They just need, to get, yeah, they just need support from everyone, and not people that are gonna go, like, oh, they're gonna lose all the time, and they just need support. And um, back to what I was saying is, they have a cheering, a student section, and for the boys' games, after the office, the their opponents are shooting their free throws towards the student section. They have these really, really big cut out heads of the boys and they wave them around to distract them during halftime and they make all these noises and stuff. It's really cool. It's something that I think that everyone should join and at least be a part of. And then um, their pep band is amazing, like really skilled and they share like Half the time, they'll they'll let the players play their music, and then it'll switch off to pep band. And I think that would be cool for um, he likes to do that too, just to um, have pep band and um, then to switch off into like iPod music or something, and then 
it pleases everyone. And um, yeah, there's a lot of differences, but um, I think that they just keep trying and they'll be really good. Like the um, sophomores and freshmen for Helix, they keep trying and they're gonna be outstanding by the time they're seniors. And um, Pendleton's still gonna be good. And yeah, that's about it.